Hey, do you ever work on a project, step away from it for a day, and then come back to it and look at it? And you still love it, but you see little things that you want to change or add. That happens to me all the time. And so I want to take you on this little journey with me for a quick second and show you some of the changes that I added to a project that I prepared for my membership group. I'm going to go ahead and start this other video so that you can see. I'm going to download this so you can see what's going on. This project I titled The Garden Chicken and I've posted several little um, excerpts about it. I This particular video right now and tip that I want to share with you today is to walk away from your finished product your finished project and take that little bit of break and then go back and look at it because when you leave something and then you go back to it you'll see maybe some areas that you need to change or either you're totally satisfied with it or you might want to add something else to it and that's basically what happened with this finished the project loved it loved it when I went back the next day, I still loved it, but I thought, I just, it needs something. And usually when you get that feeling of it needs something, just some little thing, it's the detailing that it needs. It needs some sort of a little bit of detailing in it. So I mean, let me share with you really quick what I did to add to this to give it some detailing. And I used these two things, Master's Touch Graphic. See that? It's a little blurry, isn't it? It's a 1.0 pen. This is my favorite little best friend, Jelly Roll, a number 10. I love the larger size, the number 10. I started with the black tip marker permanent and went ahead and gave his head a little more definition here. Finished out a little more with the eye and then, I don't know what you call this little area here, but I know it needed a line, so I added that. Then, very lightly, I didn't push at all. I just lifted my pen and did a quick line for his beak and on the inside of his beak. I did not finish the line. Do you see that? It's not finished all the way up to the tip. That's because I wanted to define it. I didn't want to outline it. I wanted to define it, not outline it. And so your eye will finish that line off. I took the black marker, created some lines down through the feather just sketchy and light. I did not have a heavy hand. I did not press hard. It was quick strokes like this. Then the sunflowers, when I was working with that and had put in some of the yellow, some of the black lost its intensity. So I just simply went in like this and created those, painted in those little squares, a few of them, uh, to give it a little back some of that uh, dark definition that it had lost. Then I took my white jelly roll and with this I decided um, the leaves, I love the leaves, I love the colors, but I thought well let's just, and, and a lot of times I just like to play with it. So I thought you know I've already finished this project, I can't do anything wrong, you know it's, it's finished, it's done, I'm gonna just mess around with it. And so um, but I loved what, what happened with the messing around process. And that is I took my pen and quickly, with quick strokes, outlined very uh, loosely the leaves and went around the leaf, giving it just a quick, quick stroke. Now this is on a canvas, so it's got a lot of texture to it, which um, caused you, my pen to kind of jump anyway, so that was fine. That's what I wanted. I just sketched around each of the leaves and I, I really loved what happened because it defined them a little bit more and that white brought some life to it. I did the same thing too with the roses. Um, the roses, I took my white pen and started doing that cabbage rose, the little circular spiral movement on that and loved what it did there. Finished out my other leaf, and then as a final touch, I went back in and added these little white lines to the sunflower. And something so simple as that, let's get that into some kind of, there we go. Something as simple as that 
help them to just pop. Uh, it, I, I loved what it was before, but I love it even more now. And so that's the tip for you that I want to leave with you is if you look at something and you're, it feels like you just need to do something else and you're not, I mean, you basically have finished everything and you don't want to overwork a project, but you just feel like there's something else that's missing or that might, you could add to it. Get out to your pens, especially the white and do start doing very carefully, just slowly a little detail work at first and um, see what happens. When I do the black, some people will outline. I am not one that likes things to look all outlined and every um, line defined. Um, so if, if you do, then you could go ahead and do that. But that's not my, uh, my, my flair, my taste, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so you most likely will never see me outline too many things. But I, so I go kind of light with my black, but I really use the white. All right. That's my little tip I want to share with you today.